Well, if you do take the plunge and check out your child's profile, which I do recommend after a series of um, preliminary steps preparing you for that, um, you may be horrified. And, uh, it, and that is, is very, um, very likely, actually. Um, my advice would be to, first of all, you know, take a deep breath, calm down. Hopefully, if you follow the steps that I present in my book, you won't, you won't have as strong of an emotional reaction. You'll be able to handle what you've found and, and know, um, you know, in a very rational way how to deal with that. You need to find a very safe, quiet place to talk to your teenager. So I recommend going for a long drive where they, that your child can't get away from you or um, you know, turning off all cell phones, all you know, t electronics, unplugging the phones just so there's no interruptions. And what needs to ensue is a very detailed discussion and conversation. In my book I have a, an extremely detailed checklist and worksheet for you to work through as you look at your child's profile and then share with your child. Um, I advocate looking at your child's profile with your child. So to do it without your child, again, can result in horribly, you know, you know horrify, horrifying reaction and, or, you know, feeling completely um, flabbergasted and, and, you know, frustrated. Um, so, but if you sit there with your child and if you do it in steps, I recommend it taking a three-day period. The first day, sitting down with your child, looking at only two or three elements of the page going through the worksheet and filling out how it makes you feel, how does that, repre how does that represent your child, is that what your child means to be doing, and, we're, and talking through that with your child. Then day two, another set, day three, another set. That way, it's not just all at once taking in things that seem foreign to you, seem offensive to you, or seem, um, you know, very, uh, make you very concerned. This way, it's a very detailed um, and very uh, deliberate process. The other um, benefit of doing that is that you build trust with your child, which essentially is what it's all about in the first place. You want your child to be open with you. You want your child to be able to share that experience with you, and you don't want the secrecy.